so fascinated with? Are you spying on the neighbors again? Tommy, stop it. Shush. Be quiet. I'm watching that bird in the tree. You're going to frighten it away. Hey kids, lunch is ready. Get those hands washed and come to the table. Now, who is going to wash and who is going to dry? All right then, no volunteers, then no ice cream. How about getting one out for your lovely sister? None left. Sorry for that. And no way are you getting a bite out of mine. <laughs> Slow down, it was only a nutty crunch. You hate nuts, remember? <sighs> some fine cakes here and a great collection of books in that corner on Mrs. Piteri's table. Please have a good look. All proceeds are going to a good cause. Cakes, books and plants. Plants, books and cakes. This is really not exciting. Children, your mother tells me you will be helping us. Thank you. That is very good of you. Looks like Mum has done it again, volunteering us into some crazy scheme. Not, Not again. again! Mum, what have you told Father Michael we will be doing for him? Just a bit of tidying up of the village playground. A paper here, plastic wrapper there. You'll have fun and it won't take long. An hour or two maybe. That's all. An hour or two? On a Saturday? Mum, I've promised to see my friends that day. I can't do it. I have my school project to finish. Joe and Pete cannot get anything done if I'm not there to help. Help? That's exactly what I am talking about. Glad you are catching on at last. You just have to give Father Michael a little help as well. Oh, Ma! We don't have time, Mum. After all, what's in it for us? Nothing. Just a waste of time. Settle down, you lot. We have a lot to cover today. Right. Let's have a volunteer to clean the board. us now. I know you will all do your best to help him settle in, won't you? Welcome, Hilary. Thank you, madam. Tommy, get this board cleaned up. So that's the plan for my Saturday. Just an hour or two, picking up papers. You will have fun, she says. Fun! Can you believe that? Did you see that new guy and his skills? Who would have thought? Crazy stuff, man. He is something, that guy. Football, football, football. Is there nothing else in your stupid head? How about figuring out what we can do to get out of Mum's do-good plans for us? You lazy lot, it's a bright new day. Tommy, you have to go and help Nanu. Get up! Rosie, I want you to buy me some vegetables. Let's get going.
Come on, boy. Don't just stand there. Give me a hand with those boxes. Nanno, is this you in this photo? Where is this? Now, let me see. Oh, that old photo. Oh, that seems like a whole other world now. Oh yes, it is me. When I was working as a Red Cross volunteer in Africa. Oh, I can still see clearly the look in the eyes of some of those people. Especially the young ones. They had seen things so violent and fearful that none of us will ever want to witness. It was like looking into deep, dark pools of sadness. Yet, when we show them that we were there to help, to try and heal the wounds on their bodies and to subdue some of the pain, so many of their faces changed there and then. The tears stopped flowing, the breathing often slowed down, and you could see a small glimmer of trust flowing back into the faces. I tell you, Tommy, it is an experience I will never, ever forget. I have never seen smiles so wide, real smiles, with the teeth so white that are there when trust pushes back fear so fast. Enough of that, eh? Would not want to bore you with more silly stories of an old man? Let's get back to work. No, Grandpa. What about this one? And this one with the ship? And the big old truck? Tell me more, please. Uh, slow down now. Let me have a look, hmm? You see these people here? They were all from Malta. That's me, the skinny one. There were not many of us, but it was amazing how much work we did. Night after night, day after day. I tell you, Tommy, when you are doing work like that, your mind and body somehow go into power drive. And you find energy like you never knew you had. It is magnificent, I tell you. Magnificent, what your hands can do when the time comes. I miss that feeling. Did you fly in a plane like that? Oh yes, many, many times. Did you have guns? No, definitely not. The Red Cross is not about fighting. It's the opposite. It's about caring and helping. So, if you didn't get to shoot a gun, they paid you lots of money to be there, right? No, no, no. No money. So, you went to faraway places to help people you don't even know, and you were not paid, and you didn't even get to shoot a gun? That's it, Tommy. You have been listening, and I tell you, I would do it all over again right now if I could. Now, who is going to get these boxes moved, eh? Well, I think that would be me. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Our little flower of the village. There you go, my dear, and here's the change. Now tell me, why the long face? Perhaps if you can tell me about it, I could find you a front row seat at my next big concert. What do you say to that, eh? Mum! <laughs> so that's it. All settled now. <laughs> You see how much prettier you look when you smile? First the concert, then the playground. Don't forget, I will be looking out for you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you're late. So sorry, coach. My mum has a way of finding so many things for me to do. I had to help my nanu move some stuff. Sorry I'm so late. Sit down, catch your breath, and I'll be with you in a minute. Push it! Push it! I want to see more effort! This is not a picnic, boys! Ten more minutes! Keep it going! 
So maybe you were not on the computer or sleeping. Maybe you were actually helping your grandfather, and that is good, if it's true. But you're often late, Tommy. So tell me, how many grandfathers do you have exactly? I too have grandparents and a wife and some great children. But I have to work them and coaching in together. And of course, I have my business. So it's business, family, coaching, coaching, family, business all the time. And if I mess up with any of these things, it will affect the others. Do you hear what I'm saying, Tommy? When I volunteered to coach this team, I had to make some space for it in my life. And as you know, it has paid off. We are one of the best young teams around. That's right, coach. We all know you love the game and you have some great skills, but you've got to show that love. The way you show it is with self-discipline, being on time, respecting me, your fellow players. So it's respect and discipline. Get that right and you can change your world. So, no practice for you today? Let's go home and think about our little chat. Okay, you lot, what's going on? Come on! What a crazy day it was today. I had no idea about all those things Nanu did when he was younger. A Red Cross volunteer? In all those amazing places? And boy, did I upset the coach. He sent me home for being late. I did not even touch a ball today. <laughs> That's got to be a first. Come on, you kids, it's time to sleep. Have you made sure that you have everything ready for school on Monday? Rosie! You are going to see for yourself what the vegetable lady can do when she is not selling you tomatoes. The hospital? Why are we visiting the hospital on the way to your concert? Are we taking somebody from here with us? No, my love. This is my theatre. This is my concert hall. This is where I perform. This way I know that my audience were not feeling well before my singing and not as a result of my singing. <laughs> and the man says to her, but this is my son. You should have seen the look on their faces. But you said you were standing behind the crowd. All you could see was bandages on the backs of their heads. Tommy, you can be so annoying. You know what I mean. You're not going to spoil my story with your stupid comments. Violet is a magnificent person, whatever you say. Do you think it's safe now? Yes, I think we have the fire safely under control now, but we'll keep an eye on it for a while. You have such an exciting job. I've always wanted to be a fireman, but I've never seen just what it's like close up. Now I know this is the job for me. Well, this is not exactly my job. I am a firefighting volunteer. My job is driving a breakdown truck. You see the crew here? Only those are full-time firemen. Why did you become a firefighting volunteer? When I was about seven, we had a bad fire breakout in a bakery that was right next door to our house. It was the most terrifying thing when the fire spread into our house. My brother and I were trapped by the flames. We were frightened, but we were rescued just in time. I can still see it all so clearly. And it was that day that I decided I wanted to be able to return the favor to others. I decided I wanted to protect others as I had been protected. The day I turned 18, I signed up as a volunteer.
Wow, kids, you were a great help. Thanks for stepping up and giving me a hand. A pleasure. Where are you taking the pony and the dog? Oh, they're all headed to my holiday home for dogs and horses. I run an animal rescue centre for horses and dogs. We are always on the lookout for abandoned or abused animals. We either capture them off the streets in the case of the dogs, or negotiate with the horse owners to allow us to adopt their animals, so as to avoid them having to be put to sleep. You see how frail and nervous the pony is now? Well, in a few months, she will be back to her good old self, and eager to work with the children who visit our stables. You guys were a great help. Thank you so much. We're always on the lookout for volunteers to help out at the stables. You both seem to be naturals with horses. The horse just settled down, and although I could feel it was still shaking when I touched it, somehow our help worked, and it went straight into the horse box. Such a good feeling, and she did not even ask us to help. We kind of just did it. The pony thought you were another horse. That's all. It's your hair that did it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Look guys, that lady does all of what she does as a volunteer. Nobody is paying her to do all that. And animals are expensive to look after, especially horses. I think we should go and help her out once in a while. What do you say, guys? Sounds like you're all in an agreement for a change. If you're talking about the kind of volunteers that helped me when I first started recovering, you will be great at it. There was this group of young physio volunteers that used to take it in turns to work with me in the gym and in the pool. If I had not had their help and encouragement, there is no way I would be as strong as I am now. Impressive! My man. Quite correct. Gather around, you simple beings. Let me bring you into the light of what you are all shouting about, doing, or should I say, becoming. Here is the place where you find out everything there is to know about the volunteer. There is a lot out there, my friend, and there is no time like the present to get started. If you want to really get stuck in with the kind of people you see here, get a bit of adventure or get that sparkle into your life. Do something for somebody you don't even know and do it for free. So that's how volunteering works. The playground is all cleared up, just like that. All of us, regardless of age, experience or training, can volunteer. We all can make a big difference with a little extra effort. There has never been a better time to give, give a, a helping, helping hand. hand. <laughs>